Bazite has become more and more popular. When it comes to other PC handhelds, it's become the premier choice for a Steam Deck-like experience. And yes, you can even install it on your Steam Deck if so desired. And I've installed it on the ROG Ally X. But the big question is, should you do it? I've been following and covering Bazite since the very beginning, and I haven't always kept up with Bazite, but the fact that it's gotten so big now is very impressive, and it makes me proud. You guys did a bang up job. So I ended up installing Bazite on my ROG Ally. Yes, there's a great number of tutorials out there. And at this point, you might have already seen some from the likes of Bob Wolf or Retro Game Core. And yes, I've done those as well too, albeit for an older version of Bazite. I mean, I think the process of installing Bazite is pretty straightforward, but if you need a guide, then I would recommend any one of those guides, including my own. And if you end up liking this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech lowlife really lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. So while my prior video on Bazite is a bit older at this point, 90% of the tutorial is still relevant, and still valid, and still usable. They did however streamline the process. It used to require an internet connection to install Bazite, but that's no longer necessary. And yes, when you install Bazite for the first time and boot it up for the first time, you'll be greeted by this sort of setup wizard. It allows you to customize aspects of your ROG ally, and also install different applications if so desired. Things like Deki and Emu Deck, for example. And of course, you'll want to go back into game mode, and once you do so, it's basically like setting up a Steam Deck. It's very self explanatory, and I really don't have to explain it. Or at least I don't think I do. So now for the big question How is the Steam Deck experience on the ROG Ally X? If you're familiar with the Steam Deck experience, then know that the Bazite experience is very similar. I would say about 95% similar. It's darn near one to one to the Steam Deck, but there are some things you need to take into consideration. First and foremost, of course, being the scale of the UI. Because the Ally X has a higher resolution than the Steam Deck's own resolution, the UI elements do look a bit small and can be hard to read. You can remedy this by going into settings in the display settings and then disabling automatically scale user interface. This is per display, so if you end up docking this to a TV or something like that, then you'll need to change the setting for that TV once you're docked in. But what about sleep mode? Does sleep mode work the same? And the answer is yes, it does. The biggest difference between this and say SteamOS is that this comes with a program called Handheld Daemon, which is useful for non-Steam decks. By pressing the Armory Crate button once, you can pull up the quick access menu, but by pressing it twice in a row, you can pull up the Handheld Daemon menu. Handheld Daemon gives you more access and more control over your device itself, some controls that your quick access menu alone wouldn't have. Things like being able to change your controller type to a DualSense controller, allowing you to use the built-in gyro for your ROG Ally. You have access to RGB features and even fan curves. It doesn't just work on the ROG Ally or Ally X, but it also works on the Legion Go, a couple of GPD Win devices, Aya Neo devices, and plenty more. There's a full compatibility list on their website. The big question of whether or not you should use handheld Damon's TDP settings or the built-in quick access menu TDP settings well, it really depends. You can change the TDP in the quick access menu. You can go from 0 watts to 30 watts. But the normal manual GPU clock speed option straight up does not work. According to the developers of Bazite, the GPU clock speed option does not work, so they opted to just not have the slider there at all. You can, however, change the GPU clock speeds in Handheld Daemon. But the major caveat with Handheld Daemon's performance settings is that there's no real option for per game performance settings. If you're good without messing with GPU clock speeds, then you can just use the quick access menu, and you still have the option of setting up per game performance settings in that menu. But otherwise, you'll need to use Handheld Daemon and adjust settings per game. There's also a really cool feature where you can access things like the Steam menu, or the handheld overlay menu, or the quick access menu just by swiping from the left to right. You know, touchscreen gestures. These are actually pretty useful, and honestly, I feel like these should be a thing with the second Steam Deck when it comes out. Is there a way we can bring this over to SteamOS somehow? Another neat feature is that Bazite can directly update itself through game mode's own updating process. Like for example, if you were to go to settings, and then general, and then check for updates, it'll check for Bazite 
Bazite updates, but not just Bazite updates, it'll also check for updates to your flat packs. This of course means that Bazite and your flat packs will be updated in one swift action. The one bad thing about this is that sometimes flat packs do update quite frequently, and as such, game mode will prompt you as if there was a full system update. And of course sometimes there just isn't. It's not a big deal to me, but I can see it being annoying for some people. So yes, it is worth mentioning. You've even got support for things like Deki, which by the way, Deki is a godsend, and every Steam Deck should have it, and honestly, every device that's running Bazite should have Deki as well. I know Bob Wolf said that he doesn't know what Deki is, and he probably knows by now with all the comments in his videos telling him what Deki is, but I'll tell it to all of y'all anyways. Deki is a plugin framework. With Deki, you can enhance the functionality of game mode on your Steam Deck, and by extension, whatever device is running Bazite. I would say most plugins work on the Ally, though I will mention that some plugins were designed for the Steam Deck hardware itself, and as such may not work as well on the Ally as it does on say the actual Steam Deck. And yes, you can even pre-install Deki as part of the Bazite installation process, if so desired that is. If you end up getting Deki, I would recommend getting CSS Loader, because CSS Loader has a theme that can replace all the Steam Deck graphics with graphics of your handheld of choice. You can only get this theme by typing in this command in the terminal. But outside of having Deki and CSS Loader already installed, that's literally the only step. You just type that command in. But now for the big question, how is performance? And honestly, this is one of those times where I really wish I got some numbers off of Windows. But I will talk about one game that I started up again, Dragon's Dogma 2. For me, Dragon's Dogma 2 on Windows ran slightly above 30 FPS at all times, and at times dipping below that even, especially where combat is concerned. But here, in this same scenario, on Bazite, I've never hit anywhere near 40 FPS. So I would go as far as to say Dragon's Dogma 2 runs better on Bazite than it does on Windows on the same hardware. But of course, performance increases or decreases are game dependent. Some games run better on Windows than do on Linux, and some games run better on Linux than Windows. And I don't really have a definitive list of games that do both. I don't really see people installing Bazite for better performance, I see them installing it for a Steam Deck-like UI, a Steam Deck-like experience overall, and ultimately not having to deal with Windows shenanigans. So the big question is, what are you really giving up by leaving Windows? Well, some people say that they want to stick to Windows because Windows can play all of your games. And I guess it is true, there are still a bunch of games that you won't be able to play on your ally once you switch to Bazite, for example Destiny 2. Maybe that's a little too soon because of all the bungee layoffs, but what about other games like, um, I don't know, Valorant? I mean come on dude, no one's actually playing Valorant on their ROG Ally or Ally X, are they? I really do wish there were more developments on anti-cheat games working on Linux, Steam Deck, or even Bazite, but just it just hasn't happened, I don't know why. But whatever, I guess we just won't play those on our portable PCs. So personal experience, I think Bazite is 100% worth installing. Part of the reason why I like using it is because, well, Windows is just not a cohesive experience, especially not for a handheld, whereas Bazite is more or less a replica of SteamOS made for not just the Steam Deck, but also general purpose hardware, and even bespoke like the Ally X that I'm using. It does seem like a bit of an oxymoron, doesn't it? Going through the effort of installing a different OS just to get a quote unquote simpler experience. But the cool thing is that if you stick with Bazite, you only ever have to do this process once. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos, and if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page, links in the description, 